Hello, good morning. Uh, I want to review this letter that was written by the newspaper, the small newspaper that was running propaganda for the Muslim community. Primarily, is acting like uh, uh, one of those Al Shabab or Al Al, Al Qaeda, the Muslim Al Qaeda, the Muslim ISIS, and the Muslim. Uh, terrorist organization. Remember, when some of them times they used to have newspapers online. Uh, it was running for a while. They publishing and they doing too much. Eventually, it was discovered that this is a terrorist organization running newspaper in the West, and they got shut down. This is kind of similar newspaper. Uh, they're not asking people to sign up and join. Al Qaeda or Al Shabaab or the Muslim terrorist organization in in, in other places that but they specifically engage in a like a warfare information warfare type of environment in playing we are the victims we are we should not be held accountable for our crimes this guy this they this woman writing about a Somali Somali gang members who attempted to uh, sell guns he was he was selling guns to the cops okay and he didn't know he was a police officer that was engaged in a uh, buying the buying this weapon from him eventually when the police pull him over they drive off there was a video online you you will see I, I'm gonna link it on on this video on this <laughs> Uh, he so the police pull him over. He refused to pull over and drive off. And and oh, start shooting at the cops. His intention is, I'm gonna kill these guys. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill the police officers. I'm gonna get away with this crap. So he shot at the cops before they did. Never forget this point because this is being forgetting all the time. And people talking about or. Oh, we are being targeted where the police is killing us well stop stop shooting stop committing crimes stop shooting at the cops how about how about we start we start we start with there that we don't shoot at the police how about we don't shoot at anybody so the guy sh shot at the police and he was shot the police shoot back and he was he was killed as a result of his own stupidity so this is what this woman say time to uproot system system racism a case of Dalo ID highlighted discrepancy in factual police shooting she make it look like oh the guy was innocent he was killed so he because as it says so Somali American live at the intersection of two criminal criminalized identity black and Muslims so it's all becomes about not because this guy is shooting at the cops and they shoot it back they shoot him back it becomes oh he is black and he is Muslim how uniform how nice how innocent what does that have to do whether he's Muslim or he's black the fact that he's shooting a gun at somebody as the, whoever and that person decided to shoot back and defend themselves should be relevant but this is a like, propaganda driven that were basically out of touch with the reality he says that because we are black and because we are Muslims that we we're not we are above the law I mean it's like we can we should we can we can kill we can shoot you and we should kill you we could shoot you but you're not allowed to defend yourself you cannot shoot back like if I punch you right now you're not allowed to punch me because that would be racism if you punch me you are you are racist you are again as immigrant you are again as the black people you don't like black people you're uh, you're uh, anti-immigrant uh, and and because you punch me back it doesn't occur to anybody that I punch you first what about if you don't want to people to punch you, you don't punch them first? How about you don't engage in these punching things to begin with? 
that will be the beginning of advancing your society to to say hey how about keep it keep it down the notch and it says uh, black man was killed by Minneapolis police and uh, was shot during a traffic stop money questions still existed answer have answer many uh, what is the money questions still have been answered police in say in a statement they conducted traffic stop as a part of a weapon investigation after mounting criticism from the community the law enforcement agency involved released video in an attempt to clear themselves of wrongdoing and the video shows the guy shooting at the cops and let's go down let's go down at uh, you can kind of read it on the screen too if you like the entire ordeal from the killing of uh, the gas station it should be from defending themselves at the gas station if somebody is shooting at you you dodge him behind the car and shoot him back that's not really a killing of anybody that's just defending yourself or clearing uh, so definitely they are uh, they are running propaganda to try to rile, rile, uh, rile up people and, and it basically injecting their own bias to try to make people be uh, dumb people I mean most people will, should be able to read this and understand but the idea is to that you are in a foreign country in a kufar country in an infidel country that they don't like Muslims they don't like black people and definitely they don't like immigrants that's why you're being killed it's not because you're committing crimes that's why you're being killed this is the wrong ideas to be to be to be And then it says, uh, uh, many news media would have highlighted the fact that this was the first police killing. Of course, this is not a killing. It's, it has nothing to do with... They try to compare it to George Floyd, which George Floyd was killed. Clearly, he, was, he wasn't shooting at anyone. They already have him in cuffed. The police decided that was... The, absolutely a killing by uh, the George Floyd in case George Floyd case was a killing but this one the guy was killed shooting at the police let's go all the way down and you will see what what surprises me it doesn't really surprise me but I I didn't I didn't think that was uh, people can actually say this openly and uh, use of force is the use of force in particular lethal force simply this is the ultimate degree degree of form a formal form authorized the law enforcement can exercise against citizen it's not unusual that money support money report and videos we observe in Minneapolis the contact between Minneapolis and non-white suspect quickly escalated into lethal force obviously Shavin Shavin watched enough video because there are as many videos of other races of Asian for example of, of African American blacks who have been uh, treated by the police worse and uh, and then look at this one <laughs> it says trying to highlight it and so you can actually this right here when a black person involved is a Muslim and a notarized citizen think about that if you own a business or if you are in any way come in contact with somebody outside there is absolutely no way for you to know even if you have the person's name their ID there is no way for you to know if the person is Muslim because it's not it's not in their ID they don't know if they are immigrant they don't know if you it's no way for you to know if they are born in the United States or if they are uh, notarized meaning that 
they come and apply for their citizenship after they after they lived in the United States long enough. But to say that when a person who is involved is Muslim, an authorized citizen, she assumes automatically that when the police pull them over, the police must have known this person is a Muslim and this person is not a citizen. Which is, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then, let's go, keep going back, keep going up. It seemed uh, he that the outcome probably more justified, blah blah. So let's go. And all these cases that she mentioned about uh, Egan police shooting, also the guy was crazy. He was he was he was suicidal, meaning that he wanted to kill the cops <laughs> and other people, and then he was shot because he was killing somebody. He's an actively engaged in. Uh, killing other people and of course they have to people have to defend their life and this is something that is missing here so let's go and then she bring up uh, collaborate damage from the war on terrorists Somalis are in the section of two investigation block look at this one it says same exact excuses of why Somalia should commit crimes and they should not be held accountable. Somalis are inter at the intersection of two criminal identities in America, the blackness and the Muslimness. They become this whole thing, they make it about being blackness which if have absolutely no basis, being a Muslimness. Nobody cares that you have a big toe, like a toe nails, that you have a large nail, uh, large noses or small noses, or you have uh, horrible hair makeups, or you have. This is like saying, because I have, because of my big tallness, tolls, tall nails, or because of of my jackets, because of my shirt, have no basis in reality. It's like making up and coming up with excuses to commit to commit crimes and to excuse of those of those who commit crimes so you should be able to get away with committing crimes not be held accountable imagine if you're in your home and somebody come and stab you and you're not you cannot allow you're not allowed to defend yourself because if you do the person dies even though you defend yourself you will be called racist and because the other person have high moral ground of being blackness and Muslimness and this is an absolutely crazy let's keep let's keep going on this the law enforcement is a result of those the use of law enforcement the use of law enforcement to subjugate marginalized prosecuted black America is essential century old. No, that, no, this have nothing to do with Somalis. They trying to take the suffering of African American who have been through hells of slavery, for example, even after the slavery was over. Slavery was over uh, 100 and, well, 150, 140 years ago. It's very hard uh, uh, and and. Uh, uh, to recover from being a property of somebody for your entire generation and morally it takes huge amount of effort and uh, as far as they have n they, they cannot take that horrible things that happened to African Americans and use it Somalis using that to advance their own propaganda I and mean, what have they done for African American they using that suffering of African American to advance their own agenda they using that to get an employment to get a job to get a job training to get into public housing a lot of these public housing around here, the biggest public housing around here, are, all of them are 
filled filled with African or filled with um, uh, Somalis. All of them are actually filled with Somalis. The director of public housing is not black. He's is African American in Minneapolis, and almost exclusively, a lot of African American find themselves living in the tent on the street. And this is what they use in the suffering of other people to marginalize those groups and use their suffering. Somalia is using their suffering to advance their own goal. And there comes another Islamophobia excuses. And she says, uh, she come up, bring up the September 11th. What does September 11th have, some t have anything to do with with the guy, with the with the guy, gun with the guns, trying to shoot the police, and he was actually selling the, <laughs> trying to sell guns, and when the selling things didn't work out, he runs, starts shooting at the cops, and the cops shoot back. Somehow this becomes an Islamophobia, because these people hate Islam. Islam, she's saying because the police hate Islam. That's why sh they shoot her. They shoot the Somali guy with the guns who was shooting at the police because they hate blackness. That's why they shoot the guy who was shooting at the cops. They hate Muslims and and the Islamophobia and all that nonsense. Now, this is a huge amount of of, of excuses. What would, what would the young American, young African American think when they read this? These people just come from their country a couple of days ago. Now they're using the suffering, hundreds of years of suffering of African American. Now they, they're being used to destroy their American society and to uh, marginalize the black African Americans using those suffering to get to advance the lives of people who are just have, have, have can do nothing for for black people for African American it does nothing for African American advancement of their own and then then it says uh, surveillance surveillance of Muslim communities blah 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 and this this is uh, she's talking about 9/11 after the 9/11 when when 20 or the 19 guys fly an airplane into the building of course they have to watch and make sure that this is not going to escalate to protect their communities. And now she's making, trying to find every type of excuses to to justify it, that why that sh that Somali guy should have killed that police, even though the police officers himself have nothing, have done nothing to the families or to the Somali community other than responding to a call, responding to a call, and uh, it's it's just amazing. When a black provide counter narrative about police, someone reading this or what the government think this is America, follow the rules. Of course, follow the rules, don't make excuses. I'm black, how dare I cannot shoot and rob you? I am Muslim, how dare I cannot shoot and rob and assault? And, and you cannot say anything, defend yourself. If you defend yourself, you are racist. You are supporter of Donald Trump or some such nonsense. These people rather, if given a chance, they will vote to tear up their own freedom and live in the blood of others. No aspiration to live in a civilized society. It's amazing. 
Rather, they want to live in the destructions. Start separate system erasing, blah blah blah. It's just, I mean, this is a person who wrote that, this woman. So, this type of people are actively engaged in what used to be Islamic ISIS uh, terrorist newspaper. They used to have uh, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. They used to have a uh, newspaper online. Uh, if you Google it, you will find it a long time ago. It was, they were running for about two years after, before they were discovered and and it got shut down. And, and uh, this is the type of environment that they're running. And these people are absolutely, are engaged in material support encouraging young people to engage in violence and giving them platform for excuse excuse in every and each crimes committed by by these groups by my group for example I am part of this group as well if I go and 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 uh, rob somebody store let's say a grocery store gas stations or a car jacking which is people jacking cars <laughs> in wallet and, and and all type of stuff and then I get I get shot this group will say oh he was shot because he was black he was shot because he was Muslim he was shot because he was uh, 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 he was immigrant or he is an authorized citizen which irrationally makes no sense. When somebody commit a crime, the police respond to the call. They have no interest, have no knowledge. Even if they wanted to know if the person is a citizen, they have no way for them to know immediately on that road. Local court, they have no way of knowing uh, it, with, without somebody, uh, even they have no just, they, they cannot use the immigration status of the person, Immig being a immigrant is not a crime. So they cannot charge you with the crime for being immigrant, for being a black, for being a Muslim, for being an Im immigrant. This is an excuse. It's like a, it's like a kindergarten type of uh, stooks that says, I am this, I'm short, therefore I should be able to punch you and if not, you are uh, discriminating against short people. Makes absolutely no sense. And these people who's making these, writing these, should be ashamed of themselves. Stay tuned into further videos. Uh, enjoy your weekend. See you later.